Hello, 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 my beautiful humans, and welcome back to today's video. As always, Squeaky Chair is here. Today, I wanted to talk more uni things. It is probably one of the most crucial years of my life, which is finishing up my degree. So I want to talk everything uni this year, I think. Um, it is quite the difficult year because we are not physically at uni as much as we used to be. And while that is hard for some people, I personally love it. I have always loved staying in my room. I have loved having everything around me. My whole station is an absolute godsend, as you can see. This, in my opinion, is better than any lecture hall that I could ever have. And I have a pretty amazing view of all of my plants just there. So, why would I ever want to give that up? I don't know. So in today's video I want to talk about how I get organised for uni and kind of top tips to help you get organised for uni. It is going to be stuff that is really handy to me, of course take it with a pinch of salt for yourselves and yeah let's just get on with it, help you get organised and help you pass all of your exams this year with flying colours because you know why? You're gonna hand those assignments in early. That's right, with some of the tricks I'm going to teach you in this video, you're going to be there early, not even on a dot, but early. You're going to be there five minutes early, a week early. You're going to be there. You're going to be on the ball. So let's just do it. Let me just tell you how to become an actual magician at uni. Shall we? We shall. Okay, so number one thing that you need is a calendar and I have a gripe against normal calendars by the way because they're always on the wall and I never write on them so to combat this yes I have clipboards and I print off my own calendars so this is number one prime example right here I will leave the link to this website for the printable printables printables that's the word I'm looking for and you can choose your kind of color schemes. You can do it black and white, whatever. Um, but you can get undated as well. I like the dated ones. Undated ones are good for other reasons. But this, this is pretty good. I am still in the midst of filling this out, but it kind of takes you month by month. So we're on Wednesday just now. Well, let's move on to the next month. So what I do at the start of the month is I fill in everything that I know is going to happen, all the deadlines that I have, and then kind of fill up the times where I'm either working or I'm at the gym or I've got other commitments. So then I see what full days I have free, and then I kind of take it from there. So this is my overview. This sits across from my bed, so I see it every morning when I get up. I know exactly what my month is going to look like. So this is kind of crucial for you to have. So whether you want to buy a normal calendar or if you want to do these kind of print printables, why can I not pronounce that word today? I do not know. This is absolutely crucial. I definitely recommend you have a calendar. Um, why on paper? Because then this is just kind of your uni calendar. Um, other things shouldn't pop up too much. I know I said the gym and that, but that's kind of just time slots rather than, oh, I need to remember to do this. Um, if you are absolutely against paper and printing and whatnot, then I guess you can do this on your phone. But I like this because it is literally right here. Literally right here. And it never moves. Like, it is on show, proud, and displaying itself every single day. So that's why I like it as opposed to a phone calendar because a phone you actually have to go on and look at. And I know not a lot of people do that unless they're bored when they're on the toilet and they have nothing to read. Like they've checked all your Twitters or your Instagrams. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, by the way, at Night Owl Carol. Also, subscribe down below if you haven't already because these good tips and tricks are going to keep coming your way because I am, I am such a student this year. 100% a student this year. Okay, with that out of the way, uh, you've probably seen this in my Uni Essentials video, but again, it is 
this wonderful diary it is made out of leather i'm not saying this is what you need to have but either this or a bullet journal would be great i kind of like this because my brain works in like compartmentalized compartments let's just say compartments it works in compartments, so it's like, this book is for this specific thing, this thing is that, and it's like, easier to keep track of. When it all gets muddled together, I just, I'd lose focus, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So, again, this is my kind of to-do list for each day, my main appointments. I like the fact that it's got a little note section to write your notes into. And again, you get like a monthly overview, so I suppose if you wanted to have one, I would definitely recommend one of these. Um, I, I had this before I got this. So this is what I am having. And I love this, honestly, I've, uh, I didn't use a diary last year and I kind of wish I did. I had a full on spread it out, spread out calendar two years ago and it was massive, it was like an academic one and I loved it because I saw how much time I had between each thing. This is kind of the next best thing. So this is what I've got right now and I love it. Honestly, this will let you keep track of things so much better. Like this is your overview and then this is you taking it things day by day. Um, so if you've got work, if you've got meetings, like important events, I get scheduled in here. And I don't agree to any arrangements in the like light of the moment basically because I look at this instead. So I'm always like, okay, let me check my diary, it's back at home, and that way I have time to mull it over. And it also gives me an excuse that if I don't want to hang out with someone, I'm like, sorry, my diary's actually kind of full. And it's a physical diary, what else could you ever want from life? Um, and next up, again, I love my schedules and I love my calendars, and this is something I'm actually doing today because... I can't concentrate on reading anymore, I feel like I'm reading the same things over and over again and again I love my paper because I try to read on laptops, I try to read on my phone but my eyes just get so stingy and I lose concentration so quickly because it's there, I can just click on other things, I get carried away but if it's just me and a piece of paper, that's all I can do, like I can't like go onto YouTube on this piece of paper if that makes sense. So. This is another thing that I've printed off. I actually made this template myself because I couldn't find anything that I actually wanted online. So this is for your bigger projects. So like this is how I'm planning my dissertation. And it is literally week by week for like 30 weeks. I think I've printed off some spares as well. This is why I ran out of printer paper and ink. But it is just, just pink. I like my pink and it takes me from 6 in the morning until 8 p.m. That is kind of when I work, like I like to have a full day. This is 12, 14 hours. So it's nicer to slot things in that way. I don't like to do any work after 8. I feel like you're not taking anything in. So I will literally just, it's easier to either go backwards because you'll know your schedules and dates and then it's easier to it's like the middle's difficult is what I'm trying to say because you know what you have to do in the next couple of weeks and then you'll know what you have to do when the dissertation comes but the bits in the middle are kind of all up for grabs just now so I'm definitely going to be filling this out and again I'm gonna basically block out the times that I I'm not at home where I can't physically concentrate on this and I would put other deadlines in here. So I usually write this in pencil because then I can rub it out. But for times where I'm definitely not going to be here, again, like work, like other commitments, then I'll usually like block those times out so I know that I'm, I can't do things that week on that day, whatever. So this is really good for your bigger projects if you've got stuff coming up, like dissertations, like perhaps group work or big essays, whatever kind of big project means to you so that is the kind of three big ways of staying organized is time management basically everything is about time ma time management your to-do lists um write those down as well again they're either in my diary or i keep them with my notebook 
So like here, this is my notebook. Everything is color coded. Can you see this? So one of my cognitive science of belief modules is all pink. And then my evolutionary psychology module is purple. My research project, aka okay, my dissertation, is blue. I've still got a yellow tab left, so there's that. And then what I like to do is color code and color coordinate every single one of my things. That way I know if it's in my diary and it's a certain color it's highlighted than it is to do with that subject. I hope that made sense. So basically that's another little tip that you can have is color code your modules, color code your topics that you're doing. That way whenever you look across your calendars and everything else you know what that colour represents and you know that that's something that you have to work on. I definitely recommend pastel highlighters for this just because it is less aggressive than normal highlighters but whatever your jam is I do have normal highlighters as well. I just prefer these. I honestly got these at like home bargains or something for like two quid. Nothing expensive. Your kit doesn't need to be expensive is what I'm trying to say. So I will leave the links to these things down below. So that is my time management and again as when it comes to my kit I've got this beautiful project book for writing my notes down. There's a highlighter stuck in here. Get back in here. And then I also have like these folders. This is my dissertation folder and it's got my books in it. If you watched my essentials video you know I like different journals for different things so this is literally just for my dissertation notes as you can see there's not that many in here let's change this by the end of the year shall we and then i've got all the printed articles that i have so far my ink is coming in a couple days and i've got paper so i'll be able to print a lot more of these and i've got like a pen and highlighter in here just so it's always useful it's always handy if i'm in the mood to like read which i'm usually not um, and actually with this uh, little book, all I did is put like a hair bubble around it. I don't know if you can see that. And it does keep it a little bit open, but it means that I can actually put this in here. Because these Polly Pockets are kind of cheap, they're kind of flimsy, so they do this thing where it almost rips it out. So this was heavy, this was ripping it out, so that's kind of what I did. So that's that. I have my journals here for different subjects. And I just pull them out when I need to. Some of these are completely empty, so I just like how they look. They're my favourite notebooks that I've got. But I do have others. Again, I like to keep everything nearby. Another reason why I'm loving not being at uni right now is because I've got my drawers right here. Absolutely full of stuff. One thing I forgot to mention in my other video is that I love me some sticky notes. Definitely a good thing to have when you're trying to like take notes here and there and then again keeping stuff like that pretty handy is good this is kind of like my little bullet board I've got um, invites to things, tickets, whatnots. I usually put them up here if it's like high priority and then another handy thing to have is a pin board this is actually a trip that we're planning um, this is actually a trip that we planned during lockdown because we thought we would get away a lot faster and that things would go back to normal. They haven't, so this is just a dream board at this point. But uh, this is really good for keeping track of your assignments as well. What I did a couple years ago is had like a column for each subject and then just wrote down the assignments and like I would take them off the board or like rip them up and shred them up or something. That made me feel like I did more. So that is kind of my way of keeping organized. I hope this video was well organized enough for you to like go through all of it with me. Uh, if not, then clearly I'm not giving very good advice right now. Anyway, uh, one last thing I want to mention is... Light it up, light it up.